is about 6 p.m. on Monday, February 14th. And I thought I'd pull out the binaural headset. I find that love comes up a hell of a lot this month. I think for both natural and manufactured reasons. And love relies on abundance and flow are many reasons that this flow can be interrupted. It happens. The great thing about abundance and love and the cycles of life is that we feel removed or blocked from a flow of energy. There's always a way back to it. If I feel a block in my love for myself, or if I feel depleted and my love feels small and lacking, I have a practice I return to. All it takes is noting. just an acknowledgement, a simple thought, to appreciate the love I have in my life. Love that does take many faces and many names. The practice of noting what is instead of what isn't by acknowledging and shining a light on the love that we have instead of the love that we don't. This changes our brain. It grows new pathways and grooves and it keeps us flexible and fluid and in a flow state to co-create with the world around us. In this year, the year of 2022, I am feeling a lot of movement in the lower chakras this Valentine season. I dare label it such. And while self-love practices and love practices often showcase the heart chakra, which is a very powerful energy center. Another place we can tap into love and joy and pleasure and all of those wonderful things is through our second chakra, our sacral chakra, our base, our center of identity, our creation center, our destruction center, if you think about it in a very physical sense, it's where our reproductive organs are, it's where our gut is housed, another beautiful place of knowledge to tap into, and it's, it's very sensitive. The hips hold a lot of tension and a lot of emotion and if we spend time tapping into our bodies and into these physical spaces, they will tell us what we are feeling and what we need. I'm going to take a couple deep breaths. And to acknowledge 
any place that tension might be housed. And let that breath just gently knock on that pain store. Ask if it's okay to give it a little hug. The more love we show it, the more we breathe into it. The more we'll learn how to let some of it go. I'm going to take my hands to my stomach, go my lower belly under the navel, and hold it in a way that it feels supported like a good pair of compression leggings. Just support and embrace. And I'll let myself feel anything that comes up. In this little energy center, I'm going to picture a pulse, a gentle glow in and out, like an ember or a tiny star. And with each inhale, I'm going to see the glow grow. And with each exhale, I see it dissipating, but not going down, not going out. Picture the glow evaporating outwards, ebbing, releasing, and it takes with it what it needs to. With the inhale, I restore its strength. And exhale, I release. This visualization technique is something to return to with compassion, with love, whenever the mind wanders. And I'm going to encourage myself to say internally to myself, I love you, I'm here. Every time my mind wanders and I find my way back to my breath practice. Thank you for taking the time to listen to something sweet and gentle and good for your brain. And thank you for joining me. I love you.
If this meditation is something that you would like to take with you, I have downloads on my ko-fi that are pick your price. I want to make this accessible to as many people as possible while making content that is ad-free and supported. If you would like to support my future work, go check out the link in the description. Supporting financially is just one way to be a conscientious viewer. Please let me know that you are here by leaving a comment, hit a like, ring a bell, subscribe, find your way back to me because I would love to do this again. Namaste.